This is America, the richest country in the world, a land of rolling hills, of rivers and valleys, of vast plains and fertile farms. Its wealth is produced by millions of men and women who go out each day to their work in factory and field, in shop and office. They produce the things we Americans eat and wear and the houses we live in. They make the goods, operate the services, build the many institutions that make up the American way of life. Men and jobs do this. People at machines, people in offices, and people in the shops and mines and mills of this country. Men and jobs are the essential basis of our modern America. Important at all times, but never more important than now, when men, machines, and natural resources are being harnessed in a mighty effort to produce the materials for defense of this country and its way of life. Now more than ever, it is important to bring together quickly and efficiently the jobs to be done, and the men and women who can do them. This vital responsibility is the task of the United States Employment Service of the Social Security Board, a part of the Federal Security Agency headed by Paul B. McNutt, Administrator. Of the Employment Service, Mr. McNutt says, For seven years, our employment service has been helping men find the jobs they can do and helping business and agriculture find the workers they need. The employment service knows American industry and American workers. Because it has this knowledge and experience, it has now been called to the front line of the national defense effort. The President has designated the United States Employment Service a defense agency and has entrusted it with the responsibility of mobilizing the nation's manpower for defense work. It is our task to locate for the government and for private defense industries the men and women who can make the ships, the guns, the tanks, planes, and thousands of other kinds of material and equipment needed to protect this country. The government's public employment offices are organized for the sole purpose of bringing together, without charge to either, those who want work and those with work to be done. Serving workers and employers by a thorough analysis of each worker's qualifications and careful attention to each employer's requirements. For workers of all kinds, the employment office provides a business-like job placement service. For skilled craftsmen, for semi-skilled production and service workers, for highly trained professional people, and for the many kinds of unskilled workers on thousands of jobs. Each person who registers talks with an employment officer trained to do this work, gives a full record of his qualifications and experience. This woman, for example, has spent weeks looking for the one job she thought she could do, but the interviewer discovers that she qualifies for several different jobs, not just one. Such service greatly increases the job seeker's chances. Beginners like this need more than routine help in finding work. Their problem is what kind of work, what kind of training, where to get it. Junior placement counselors in many offices help young people find the answers to these questions. This is a mature worker. His skill gone rusty after years of unemployment in his trade, but today his knowledge and experience are important to defense industries too important to waste in aimless, undirected job hunting. The interviewer knows where there are jobs for men like him. After a brief training course, to regain his old time speed and efficiency, he will be referred to a definite opening in a defense industry. Such service prevents waste of precious manpower in this time of national emergency. 
employment offices covering the country send job seekers where they are needed, when they are needed. Directing this service is the Social Security Board. Arthur J. Altmaier, Chairman, reports. We now have 1,500 full-time public employment offices in the cities and towns of this country and nearly 3,000 part-time branches. These offices are operated by the states, but they are all linked together in a nationwide network coordinated by the United States Employment Service. In the last seven years, more than 30 million jobs have been filled through these employment centers. Today, to meet the demands of vital defense industries, we are extending and improving this service so that workers may be directed to essential jobs and employers may secure essential workers in a planned and orderly way so that both our human resources and our productive equipment may be joined together for maximum effectiveness. The employment service is for every employer in every industry, from the huge factory to the owner-run machine shop employing one helper. From the luxury hotel serving hundreds of guests, employing chefs, waiters, bellboys, chambermaids, doormen, to the small rooming house or private housewife seeking one maid of all work. And from the great department store with its large staff of salespeople, buyers, bookkeepers, stock clerks and other employees, to the small neighborhood shopkeeper who needs a little extra help or a general assistant. The employment office is as important to the community as its traffic system, its communications, its fire protection, its schools, its educational system, because it also helps to conserve the community's human resources helps to make life better for its people. In cities and towns throughout the nation, the employment service is the key to available jobs, the key to available workers, bringing both together, serving the community by matching its people with its work. Men and their jobs have built our country, our homes, our institutions, and now they must produce the things necessary to protect this heritage. Many men at many jobs, carefully chosen for their work, directed to the kinds they can best do and that most need to be done. The right man at the right job to make the things America needs.